Hello guys, in this video we are talking about the standard enthalpy or heat of a reaction. It is defined as the change in enthalpy that occurs during your reaction when all reactants and products are in their standard state. And it can be calculated using this weird looking formula which is actually really simple to use. So here the enthalpy change of the reaction equals to the sum of the heat of formation of the products multiplied by the stoichiometric coefficients from the equation minus the sum of the heat of formation of the reactants multiplied by the stoichiometric coefficients from the equation. Let's take a look at an example. Let's calculate the enthalpy change for the combustion of liquid ethanol. We have the reaction right here and the heats of formation for the reactants and products are listed right below. Now you can get actually these volumes use from different tables from textbooks and also you can find those on the internet so let's try to calculate the enthalpy change for this reaction under standard conditions so first we need to take a look at the products what is my first product it's co2 right how many moles of it do i have two so i need to use the stoichiometric coefficient from the equation so two moles multiplied by the heat of formation of CO2 gas. Do I have the heat of formation of CO2 gas given? I do, right? It's right here. So I'm going to directly just plug in the number multiplied by minus 393.52 kilojoules per mole. Okay, now do I have another product? I do. I have water as a product and I actually have three moles of it. So I have to add to it three moles multiplied by the heat of formation of liquid water. Do I have the heat of formation of liquid water given to me? I do, right? It's right here. So multiplied by minus 285.82 kilojoules per mole. All right, do I have more products? No, I am done with products. So what I like to do, I like to use these larger brackets to actually separate the products from the reactants. Now I have to do the same thing for the reactants, right? So minus, I'm going to use this huge bracket here. What is my first reactant? It's ethanol, right? It's right here, C2H5OH. How many moles do I have? One, so I need to take one mole multiplied by the heat of formation of ethanol, which is minus 277.38 kilojoule per mole. Plus, I need to add to it the same for oxygen. Guess how many moles do I have? Three, right? So plus three moles multiplied by the heat of formation of oxygen gas. But it's not given here. So what is it? Well, oxygen gas in a standard most stable state is actually O2 gas. And we know that elements in their standard state actually have a heat of formation of zero. So simply, I have to substitute zero kilojoules per mole. All right. So, do I have more reactants? No, I am done. And if I do this calculation, I'm going to get minus 1,367.12 kilojoules, right? The moles are going to cancel out, so the final units are kilojoules. Okay, I really hope this makes sense. Remember that elements in their most stable standard state have a heat of formation equals to zero. See you in the next video.